To create a self-grading quiz in Google Forms, you want to first start with a blank form. I'm going to title this form Sample Quiz. I'll click up here where it says Untitled Form, and that title will go there as well. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to select Settings. You see that I have General Presentation and Quizzes. I'm going to go to the Quizzes. And I'm going to just click right here to make this a quiz. Once I make it a quiz, I have the option to allow students to see their grade immediately or later. And I can email them um, their grade. This also turns on email collection. So the kids would have to use their email in order to take the quiz. I can also determine if I want students to see their missed questions the correct answers and point values, and you can turn that on or off. I'm just going to leave all of these on. Um, they're defaulted on, and I'll click Save. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to make this a multiple choice test. So I'll just add, enter three questions. So I'm going to say, what state does Mrs. K. Taylor live in. So what state do I live in? And that is Texas. And I'm gonna put some more options here. Arkansas. I don't know why I always choose Arkansas. And then Oklahoma. And then down here, I'm going to click on answer key. And here I'm going to select the correct answer and I'm going to give it a point value and I'll just make it worth five points maybe this I don't know just point value once that is completed let's click just Texas then I'm going to add another question let me go back because I'm going to go back to edit question because I want to make sure that my questions are required because I don't want kids to skip any questions so then I'll go down to the next question and I'll say how does Mrs. Taylor spell her name? I know really thought provoking questions. Nicole 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 again I'll go to answer key. I'm gonna make it worth five points. I'll select the correct answer. And if you want to, you could also add some answer feedback. Tell them something it's, if it's incorrect and tell them something else if, if, it's if it's correct. Now, one thing I do like about incorrect answers is I could say if they received, if they put something that's wrong, I could say review the web site make sure your answer is correct. I'm just going to add that website, click save, and that's the feedback for incorrect. So if they answer incorrectly, that is what they'll get. So once that is finished, if I click right here on the preview button, it looks like an eye. I can see what students will see once they take the quiz. What state does Mrs. K. Taylor live in? And I'm going to just select the wrong answer so that you guys can see. And how does Mrs. Taylor spell her name? Select the correct answer. Once I hit submit, it says your response has been recorded. And here I can actually view my score to see how I did on the quiz. And of course it shows me that Arkansas is incorrect. It also shows me that um, this answer is correct. I wanted to show you this where it says submit another response. I could click to submit another response. Um, if you don't want students to be able to submit another response, then you need to go right here in settings and you can limit to run response and that will require them to sign in to Google. And that is how you create a self-graded quiz using Google Forms.